Okay. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out and uh, our team, our training team, uh, conditioning coaches over there, Evan Casey, uh, Billy Patton, and the rest of the guys. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough fight. We knew it was a big fight. And this is one of the reasons why his management team decided that we should train here. We've been here for now, I think this week is going over the fifth week. Normally, you know, uh, most American fighters make a big mistake come to Europe to fight. They normally wait 12, between 12 to 13 days to show up over here. But our camp decided, no, no, we're not doing that. You know, they, they tried to trick us by saying, well, come to the press conference, then turn around, fly back to America, then come back over here. But uh, we got too much experience with that. So we had a great, a great training camp. I've been with Samuel, this is my fourth fight. And this is the best camp yet. This is the best Samuel Peters I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, I've worked with at least four heavyweight champions. And he's right there at the top with all of them. And this camp is great. I know this kid here can fight for five or six rounds. After that, it's all over with. But for four, between one and six, you guys are going to get a great, great fight. And this guy is going to fall in about six or seven rounds to fight and be over with. But I give him credit to come out of retirement and try. Just like Muhammad Ali came up, tried against uh, Larry Holmes and was defeated. You know, all these guys come out of retirement and they try. They try to win. And uh, uh, they got other guys that come out. Uh, uh, Larry Holmes come out against Mike Tyson. You saw what happened. So history going to repeat itself. He, he went out champion. He come back to try to regain his title. But definitely, he would definitely be knocked out. It would be a great thing that he came out. I really like this old boy because he smiled a lot. I really like it. And I know he's in shape, but Chris goes always in shape. Ain't no doubt about that. They all they got pride in their conditions. I've been knowing that for years. And this is why we prepared and trained so hard mm -hmm. for this fight. And I guarantee it's gonna be a hell of a fight with one of the biggest heavyweight matchups, like we say, we've seen in a long time. So it's gonna be a great fight. Thank you very much. Stacy McKinley, I keep getting the same question. You know, well, Sammy Peters got knocked down. I have I have yet to see a heavyweight champion, I don't care how great he was, go in the ring and not get knocked down at some time. I've seen Ali get up off the floor. I've seen Joe Lewis get up off the floor. I've seen uh, George Foreman get up off the floor. So, so the, the, the main thing is, if you go down, get up. Now, if you don't get up, you got a problem. But if you get up, become victorious, it all happens. That's what makes the heavyweight boxing so great because you got big guys in there throwing big punches. You know, I've seen uh, uh, Jamil McCline down before. Jamil is six foot six, 265 pounds. That's a big man. If he hits you on your chin, you may go down and you may not, but because you see a guy go down, I've seen guys go down in the gym. I've seen Tyson down in the gym with 18-ounce gloves on. So the main thing is you go down, get your ass up, and fight and win, and that's what he did. That's all that counts is winning. He's placing his punches better. And once you become heavyweight champion of the world, you go to a different level anyway. So automatically he's up three or four levels because he knows what's at stake. He liked being champion, he enjoyed it, his country is enjoying it. We all having a good time him being heavyweight champion of the world. So you automatically go to a different level. This is why he come here and prepare like a true champion. So it's, 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 a, big, it's a whole different ball game on this level. This is going to be a very, very close fight. And we must be sure that the ring officials for the fight are the best. And I am personally responsible for picking them myself and not accepting any other recommendations. It's gonna be Annek Hontonkam from Thailand, Jan Keen from England, and Ken Morita from Japan. The referee is gonna be Massimo Vadovecchio from Italy. We are appointing the president of the British Boxing Board Control to be the supervisor of the BC. The assistant would be, uh, I forgot, and, and also uh, Bob Lodges, I'm very sorry, the president of the European Boxing Union. And we've invited as the main witnesses the president of the uh, Russian side of boxing, uh, Edmund Lipinski, and from uh, Africa, uh, Husid Huich. So it's a complete, absolutely neutral uh, set of ring of
Thank you, Richard.